guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you all today? It is Saturday, the 31st of August already. Um, so that means tomorrow is the first day of autumn. Like, what is going on? Where's summer gone? And um, so, yeah, it is another daily vlog today. If you're new, welcome. My name is Marcia. I'm 53 years old. I'm on a weight loss journey. I'm on Munjara, which is GLP 1. This is week 15, and my current dose is 7.5 milligrams. And um, if you're returning, thank you. We're in just for another regular day with me. No fixed plans, particularly. Um, I have got a viewing on the house, though, in. 50 minutes, well, 10 o'clock, so it's nearly 10 past now. So, yeah, just already now, that's everything just done. I've rehoovered again, so the carpets look all nice and fresh. And I'll just sit and wait for them to come. So, I think I'll have my breakfast after the viewing, but I'm wondering maybe whether to have a quick protein shake just now. In fact, I think I might. And at least I've had something, I've got a bit of protein on board, a couple hundred calories to get me started. So yeah, if you are new, I just share everything that I eat and drink today whilst on the GLP-1 journey and I do a split screen to show you all like the calories and protein and everything and at the end of the video we go over through the whole day looking at my totals and then looking at the weekly averages and then yeah, that's kind of like what I do and then you get a little bit of just what I'm up to in the mix. It's just very light-hearted um, and just sort of following my journey day by day and seeing how I'm getting on if I've got any side effects or anything. Um, today, again, I'm feeling absolutely fantastic. I did have a bit of like tiredness yesterday, but then that kind of settled and I was fine. But um, I had problems sleeping last night. I was still awake at half two, three o'clock. However, I think I used my regular tea bags instead of my decaf ones last night. So that's probably the culprit. Plus, Obviously, with the viewers and things, I've got just stuff on my mind. Um, so, yeah. But there we are. Other than that, I'm feeling absolutely great. No headaches, no nausea, no vomiting, no diarrhea, no constipation. All is good in the Mara household. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll share everything that I get up to, everything I eat. But for now, I shall love you and leave you. And I'll see you in a little while. In fact, she's got better dozen. She's got one in the oven that has nothing to do with me. Okay, so yeah, I have decided just to go for a protein shake. So these are from Aldi, they're only 79 pence. Um, 20 grams of protein and 180 calories. So yeah, that'll keep me going. Okay, noisy kitchen, but I'm just gonna make some brunch and um, the viewing went very well i felt so they've got more houses to look at next weekend so i'll just wait and see with that so i've decided i'm going to make a little like um sausage muffin fake away so i've got these little pork patty sausages from aldi um one of those i've got everything's on the freezer today i had some muffins in the freezer so i've taken one of those out <laughs> stop it with big fat fingers um so i'm just going to defrost this and toast that and then I'll stick on a cheese single on the top as well, it'd be yummy. So these are what these look like when they're frozen. Um, it's just a bit like burgers really, but they are so nice. And here's the information, so what each patty, each little sausage is 132 calories, 11.3 grams of protein. So yeah. Um, to that. And here we go, a sausage and cheese muffin. Um, I've just realised I forgot to put an egg on it, <laughs> but um, never mind, that's what I'm going to have right now. I've just done the try on section for my monthly update. I'm so happy. Things are coming on along. <laughs> Things are coming along really, really nicely, and I think this just shows why it's really important not to just focus on the scales. So yeah, if you haven't seen my monthly update, go check it out. I'm starving. <laughs> so I've made <laughs> ham and tomato sandwich, salad cream, and I've got some Aldi lentil chips barbecue flavor. Um, those ones, I'd put my butter in the fridge 
and obviously now it's really hard so um no butter <laughs> so um not to worry so yeah there we go mm. <laughs> lunch is so it's a late lunch actually it is it's three o'clock but you know i'm just like i'm so hungry so i eat when i'm hungry now what day is it today saturday two more days till injection day guys i've been ravenous um absolutely ravenous so yeah Another carby day, um, weird. I'm starving again. So here we go. We've got um, chicken breast, onion the ninja, with some broccoli, carrots, green beans, and new potatoes and gravy. I am starving. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> Good evening. It is, oh my gosh, it's five past 11. We do have our late night chats. I've got a little cup of decaf. Um, and don't forget, cool is the new nice. <laughs> um, oh, no, nice is the new cool. <laughs> I know what I mean. Oh, my word. Um, how are you all? I hope you've all had a lovely Saturday. Um, I haven't really chatted much today. It was just obviously we had viewing this morning. And then I really did need to get my month three update filmed. And then obviously with all the trying on clothes and bits and pieces, there's quite a bit of editing to do. So yeah, I was desperate to make sure that got up today. And then, um, so yeah, I just, oh, I loved, I love filming it so much. It just puts me in such a good mood. And then um, it's just making me realise how far I'm coming already in such a short space of time. It's absolutely crazy. Um, I've... I'm in a really good mood today, such a good mood, and I just I, I'm reflecting back on my um like little chatty bit in yesterday's vlog, and um I'm not sure if I was a bit of a Debbie Downer or whatever. I don't think I was, but anyway, I just sort of like oh, I don't like moaning, so um ignore. Oh, it's a little tiny like fruit fly. Where are you going? Um, so I'm just not sure. I can't, I think it was a bit of a wind bag. Oh my god, it's a tiny little like fruit fly <laughs> it's doing me I didn't um yeah I don't like moaning at all it's just not me um so yeah just ignore all of that and it's just almost and upwards and just keep doing what I'm doing um but I did think actually um sometimes this might be quite a good time at night just have like a chat about anything that I've seen or read or whatever um so yeah, I mean, I don't know, but what I was going to come on and see, and I've actually posted this on my community tab, there we go, out of the way, on my community tab, was um, really interesting that today, finally, there are positive stories about GLP-1s in the news, um, and BBC had a story on it as well, and so I have linked that in a post on my community tab. I'll actually pop a link in the description box down below as well or as a pinned comment. So go read it and it's just all about all the different health benefits that are coming out of being on a GLP-1. Honestly, absolutely amazing, which we kind of all knew about anyway. Well, well, I, I did. I knew these existed because obviously I've researched it all. But finally, the news and the media are reporting on it. It's been in front of the tabloids. It's been on the news, like a main news story. So is there finally, at last, going to be a shift um, in um, reporting about like injectables? I really, really hope so. And it'll maybe start to change like the judgment and things which there, there is quite a bit of in society about people who are on these and like the misinformation and everything else. I mean, I experienced this whilst I was in Scotland and like one of my friends, I was really surprised that actually, and I'd mentioned I was on, well, she kind of knew, I think she'd seen posts on my Instagram. And so she kind of knew that I was on it and she was a bit, I don't know, just a little, not, I wouldn't say judgmental, but a bit like, oh, well, don't lose too much. And then, um, oh, well, I just, well, if you're just eating and exercising anyway, why do you need to have an injection? You know, that sort of thing. And I was trying to explain about all the different benefits there were. Because um, obviously it hadn't been really reported on in the news, all the good benefits. And um, and she says, well, if that's the case, why aren't they just giving it to people? Sort of like left, right and centre, if it's so good for people, if there's so much of this, and she's like, and I don't think she kind of believe me. And so I was really pleased today when I saw 
this story in the news. I was like, thank you. Maybe people start believing me. And then it got me sort of thinking like, maybe actually we should be discussing this sort of thing in my vlogs or as standalone videos as well anyway. So I just thought if I see anything of interest, I'll mention it in this little bit at the end of my videos and I can post links and then you can go and have a little look you know, just if I see something interesting, or if I see someone doing something really stupid on Facebook, <laughs> I will have a chat about it. Like, not naming and shaming, but about things in general, like mistakes that people make. Um, you know, and we can just, like, have a chat about that as well. So, aye. But anyway, I'm feeling absolutely great. Well, today, I have been starving. So hungry. Oh my gosh, I'm going to yawn. Why do you all make me yawn? <laughs> so yeah, I have been absolutely ravenous. So, so hungry. So obviously I started off today anyway with my protein shake. Then I had like my breakfast muffin. Then I've had my sandwich and I've had my dinner. And honestly, I am still hungry. So I'm thinking it could be one of a few things. So it's either it's just random and I'm just hungry. Um... Is it because I've had lots of carbs and that's making me hungry? So is it making my insulin spike a bit? Although GLP ones should be um, helping like that insulin get to where it needs to be. It is also the day five since my injection, because my injection day is Monday. So obviously I've gone a day longer from being in Scotland when I had my injection. But obviously, yes, I had my injection on Monday night. So it is now like five days. So that's now me at my half life. So am I just going to be getting a bit hungry anyway? So there's that. Is it because I'm back on my HRT? Is it hormonal? Maybe. Um, is it that I have I'd already done my pen of seven point five milligrams, and I've obviously started a repeat on it. Should I actually, in hindsight? moved up to 10 milligrams <laughs> as advised and suggested by the prescribers and Eli Lilly. I don't know. It could just be random. So I'm going to wait and see how it all pans out. Um, I've still got quite a few more injections of 7.5 before I finish my pen. <laughs> um, so I've just, in fact, it was my first injection out of this pen. Um, on Monday when I had it last week because I do use like the fifth dose out of the pens um, rightly or wrongly but the medication's in there and it's good so I'm using it I'm not wasting my money <laughs> um, so yeah I've still got another four doses in this pen I've had one out of it already there's still another four doses in there so it's another month which I wasn't mad at because it kind of um it works out really nicely for Rome, so that when I get back from Rome, I can then go up to like the 10 milligram pen. And um, that might be better really, you know, if I'm just getting really used to it. Um, we'll see. So I'll see how it pans out over the next week or so. And just go from there. But I think if next week, if I'm absolutely starving next week, I may just look at um, going up a dose, uh, going up to 10 milligrams early. Um, or wait and see about it's something we can chat about. So let me know your experiences. If you've been on 7.5 milligrams, um, let me know how you got on moving up to 10. For some reason in my head, I'm a bit worried about going on to 10. And isn't that weird? Um, I don't know why um, I feel like that. But I think it's actually, I think it's because I'm going to Rome. So I think in the back of my head, I'm kind of thinking, don't box the boat. Like, and I do think that's what, it, what I'm thinking. Um... And I, I, yeah, so I think that's probably what it is. I think if I wasn't going to Rome, it wouldn't actually bother me. But I'm going for, like, as I've told you already, we're going for a wedding for three days, well, three nights. So four days at this wedding. And then doing four days in, like, Rome itself. So obviously I want to be able to enjoy myself, eat the food, have a few drinks and have a really nice time. So in the back of my mind... I just would rather leave 10 milligrams till I get home. And then I haven't got any more holidays planned for this year. No. Did I tell you I've booked the Norfolk Broads for next summer? Did I tell you yesterday? I don't know if I did. <laughs> so um, Sean and Amanda, our friends that we went to stay with the other day, um, 
we usually um what we do we go on quite a few holidays together we usually spend i always spend new year um together new year's eve and um we usually sort of go away um maybe every other year on a foreign holiday so yeah we haven't been away this year we went last year we went to turkey for a couple of weeks so yeah we've <laughs> we've booked a boat for the Norfolk Broads for next summer. Um, I'm going to put you a picture of the boat. It looks so cool. I think I told you, I can't remember. But um, it should be so much fun. It'll be really good. Um, as long as the weather's good. But um, I'm looking forward to that. So yeah. Um, so yeah, that's really it today. I just thought I'd share the news story. And I think it's absolutely brilliant that there's positive stories. Um, oh, and talking of TV, I've still not heard back from ITV. Obviously, I spoke to them on the phone when I was in Scotland and they had said that they'd ring me at the end of last week. Hang on, the end of, potentially the end of the week whilst I was in Scotland or the beginning of the following week. Well, the beginning of the following week was obviously this week because I've been back. So really now that's kind of like a week over potentially from here. So I don't think I'm going to hear anything back from them now. Um, and I thought that they got in touch, but I thought that they got in touch either way and just said yay or nay. Um, so yeah, I'll give it another week and see, although I have got their number. So whether I send a little text message to see how things were or not, I don't know. But now they're starting to do more positive stories on the news. It makes you feel a little bit more hopeful that they <laughs> won't give you an absolute bee sting, you know what I mean? So I mean, we'll wait and see, but it'd be really nice to be able to get, um, like a positive story out there about GLP ones. Okay, guys, that is it. Um, I'm gonna scoot off tomorrow. I will be filming my week fourteen update. By the time you watch this, it will be up. Um, it should be up Sunday night. Well, Sunday through the day as soon as it's done, and then I will film week fifteen just a few days later. But I just still want to have the individual, um, weekly updates. Um, rather than sort of pairing them together. I think it's just quite nice just to still look at everything um, week by week. So yeah, that is it. I'm going to leave you with a breakdown of today's food, which I have thoroughly enjoyed. I've really enjoyed eating today. It's been very nice, actually. Um, so yeah, have a lovely day, whatever you're up to tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching my video tonight. And um if you have commented, thank you very much for that. I will make sure I reply back to you. Um, so yeah, take care. Have a fantastic day. Mwah. Bye for now. So the breakdown for today. So breakfast was 507 calories, 40.3 grams of protein. But I've counted in there my like breakfast muffin and also the protein shake. So that's that's why it looks a bit higher than usual. Um, lunch was 388 calories with 19 grams of protein. So pretty sort of standard lunch for me there. As you know, I'm always having ham and tomato sandwiches, but just quick and easy and it's something that I enjoy. And I've honestly been so hungry, as I've mentioned today. So I enjoyed my dinner so, so much. And um, the total calories for my dinner was only 353 calories. Um, 48.2 grams of protein. Like chicken is just the best way to get a load of protein in, even if you're not very hungry. So yeah, it's just very protein dense. The green beans are actually very, very nice as well. I did enjoy them. Um, I've added my cups of tea in today. I need, I'll probably start doing that, I think, because... It is calories, and when I go to maintenance, it will be important. So the day was 1328 calories, 114 grams of protein. So I've broken the 100 grams of protein barrier that I try and aim for. So there is my day's macros. And then if you switch over, we can look at what my daily average is over the week. So yeah, I'm averaging... 1331 calories and my protein is slowly improving as well so getting closer and closer to the 100 on the daily average and um, the little pie chart breakdown of how everything is so it's fairly carb heavy but it, it could it's not too bad i think it's, it's improving slowly and then that's the daily average oh yeah sorry guys daily average for the week 
And then if we just have a little look here at my week's um, individual days side by side, you can see that I am doing much better now at getting a slightly higher calorie intake. And that's it, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you all again tomorrow.